Welcome back to the American Diabetes Association's 74th Scientific Sessions. I'm Rhonda Anderson with another breaking news update from the Moscone Center in San Francisco. The American Diabetes Association announced today that it was lowering its recommendations for blood glucose levels in children with type 1 diabetes. These changes reflect the most current scientific evidence and are better aligned with international standards. The association now recommends that children with type 1 under the age of 19 strive for an A1C level lower than 7.5%, A1C being a measure of a person's average blood glucose over the last two to three months. Previously, the association's guidelines stated target blood glucose levels could be as high as 8.5% for children under 6, 8% for children 6 to 12, and 7.5% for adolescents. These targets were set because of concerns over complications caused by low blood glucose or hypoglycemia. However, research now shows that prolonged hyperglycemia, high blood glucose levels, can lead to the early development of serious complications in children, such as cardiovascular disease and kidney disease. These complications were once believed to occur only in adults. There will always be concerns about hypoglycemia, but we now have better tools to monitor it. The evidence shows that there is a greater risk of harm from prolonged high blood glucose if children keep an A1C of 8.5% over time. The authors of the association's new position statement emphasize that while the 7.5% target is evidence-based, blood glucose and A1C targets must be personalized for the best and safest results in children with type 1. The guidelines are part of a new position statement that addresses the comprehensive care of people with type 1. In the statement, the American Diabetes Association also clarifies the differences between type 1 and type 2 diabetes, saying they are very different diseases that must be managed differently. Recognizing these differences is important to understanding how to better prevent diabetes complications. The position statement will be published in print and online in the journal Diabetes Care. To view this full press release online, visit the newsroom section of our website, diabetes.org. And for continued updates, breaking news, and highlights from the 74th Scientific Sessions, visit diabetes.org slash breaking news. I'm Rhonda Anderson in San Francisco.